apparently originally a Kickstarter game that has been in development for several years. Made by one guy from what I know. Out now on the Nintendo Switch, PC, Steam, PlayStation and Xbox. I'm playing the Switch version and this review is gonna be based on that. Ever After Falls is a farming life simulator game very inspired by Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing and Harvest Moon slash The Story of Seasons. Maybe mostly comparable to Stardew Valley. And I had almost forgotten about it but I actually reacted to this game back in 2021. <laughs> if this is your first video on my channel, please subscribe. Story! Been looking forward to doing that. It's been a while. Now you wake up from a simulation with no memories of your real life in Ever After Falls, surrounded by your friends who welcome you back. They let you know that your memories are always foggy when you return from the simulation, indicating that you have already done this several times. The animal villagers are all happy to see you return again and as time goes and you get to know them more, they will let you know about the past, including some big revelations I found very interesting. The game has quests that guide you and will progress the general story along with other NPC storylines. In one of the storylines you have to collect a strand of hair from the elephant. <laughs> This is a ridiculous storyline, okay? And this strand of hair is for a love voodoo spell that another villager wants to have done to have him fall back in love with her. But you end up giving her someone else's hair, so they fall in love with her. And that creates a whole lot of drama. There is a special robot NPC that you need to help out with building his spaceship. And that can take some time because all of these spaceship parts, they require a ton of expensive or rare materials. Special cutscenes trigger too, and they are written really good. I don't skip anything. These are storylines worth your time. Often funny, and that's a plus. Now you don't romance anyone in Ever After Falls, as your character already has an established relationship relationship with all of the villagers, as you will get to know, since you have lost your memories after coming out of the simulation. Also, there is no friendship levels or gift giving. And this is kind of new for a game of this type, but I'm not missing it in this title, gotta say. Gameplay. Most things that you have already come to love from other games in the genre, you will be able to find here as well. You have a personal pet this time around that always follows you around, and that does the digging, the tilling of the soil, and watering, which declutters your inventory, since you don't have to carry around like a watering can and a hoe, shovel. This pet is doing all of that for you. I'm loving the pet. It's actually not a cat. When I did some research on this game, this is actually like a unique type of animal that belongs to Ever After Falls, but it looks like a cat. The character customization was good enough. No complaints there. Also, you can choose the color of your pet and your favorite color. You have a big plot of land that you get to tidy up. You chop down the trees, you mine the rocks, you cut the grass, and you can also craft several types of machines and processors like furnaces for ores, looms for rope, and so much more. You can put down your own paths, fences, make more barns and coops, and of course later upgrade your house. Mine is getting a bit cramped right now. Plenty of furniture pieces to collect too, like figurines, books, plushies, potted plants, and a plethora of bed sheets collecting the bed sheets. Now growing crops is easy with Tommy by my side. And your pet is actually very useful in other ways too. You can collect upgrade cards, somewhat hard to come by but very useful. Some upgrade cards include having your pet queue more spaces at a time when you are working the fields or watering your crops. Another upgrade card can make your pet run off to the shipping bin to sell off some stuff for you, even if you are deep down in the mines. But perhaps more important Importantly, your pet can also help you fight enemies in the dungeons. If you collect the correct card, your pet can save you, do damage, and even heal you. I mean, the dungeons, they are maybe a bit hard at the very beginning of the game. But once you get these upgrades to your pet, the mines slash dungeons, they are a breeze. Especially once you get that healing card, just to name something. Recommend that one. It gradually heals you over time. It is so OP. You can also 
equip yourself with stat boosting rings, increasing movement speed, which is really nice, also increasing attack power. And I haven't even gotten to the animals, the actual animals that you have, not the animal villagers. You can have chicken, cows, alpacas, and some other creatures that are Ever After Fall special creatures. And for once, they apparently don't require you to feed them every day. They're just happy if you let them outside and they graze a bit. Chickens give you eggs every day, cows give you milk, and you can put these materials into processors and make like mayonnaise, butter. You will get a lot of cooking materials, as cooking is also a big thing in this game. Now the museum. Seeing this in a YouTube video was actually what pushed me over the edge with purchasing this game for myself. I was seeing how they did the museum and I don't know, it looks so satisfying to me. So <laughs> the museum was actually what did it for me. I want to fill out that museum. You can fill the museum up with butterflies, frogs, crops, ores, minerals and forageables. Looking really good. There's also a special aquarium where you can donate all the fish that you have fished and all the shells that you have found. You put all of that into the aquarium and you can actually see your progress. Fishing is also, for once, unique and I very much enjoy it. There's a wheel spinning and you stop the wheel and you fish. Actual unique fishing for once. Now, if you are already familiar with the Bionaut reviews on my channel, I have now combined graphics and music into one section called presentation. It made more sense. Often I was struggling with finding something to say under music. At least more than saying like the music was good, if you know what I mean. So about the graphics, the performance and the music, these graphics has grown on me a lot actually. I now find them very pleasing. I am very much enjoying the NPC portraits and the Rayman like main character with floating arms and also I am enjoying like the overall environment and the mega bright colors. <laughs> Art style wise this game stands out a lot to other games in the genre. One glance at Ever After Falls and you can see that it's not really immediately reminding you of any other game in the genre art style wise. Gameplay wise is another story. The four seasons also visually gradually changed and that is something that I can appreciate. There's no actual like calendar that you can look at in the game as far as I know, but I haven't missed having one either. Like I get letters in my mailbox the day before an event or before like something happens in town, a festival or a cooking session. So I'm actually really good at attending all of those. The events include some mini games. There's like a cooking game. There's like a rhythm game. Performance is absolutely acceptable on the Switch. It's a very nice Switch type of game. And I mean like for once I'm not playing on my play station. The only negative thing that I can mention though is that some parts of the town like where the almost a newspaper area around this building anyway it lags. But that is gonna be addressed in a patch. I read that. The developer has said that. So the game absolutely lags in certain parts of the town especially when there is like a lot of weather effects. I have however come across no bugs other than the ones that I'm catching. No glitches and no game crashes. Well, there's one glitch. When you're going up to the post office with the penguins, my character was spinning around, like having a dance session going up there. But other than that, nothing. I kind of actually enjoyed it. Customization is good. The music is good. It's so memorable, actually. And there's also soon gonna be a patch, like I said. And I read that it will also make us able to until the soil. So I'm mentioning that as well. Verdict. Now I know some people that say that they are burnt out on the farming sim genre of games. And maybe I have felt that feeling like a few percent sometimes in the past couple of years. But that may have been something that we have felt if there weren't enough new and fresh features. Like I think Ever After Falls stays true to everything that we know and love from other games of this type, but still adds enough fresh air to be a super exciting and addictive experience. This is a game worth your time. Impressively charming. I'm giving Ever After Falls 8 out of 10. And that's because I can't put it down. 
actual can't put it down it's very much reminding me of how i felt when i started stardew valley like a ton of years ago now but i'm having that feeling and i highly recommend ever after falls on the switch i mean look at my farm isn't it cute and tommy it isn't he the best boy now if you want to support what i do on my channel you can join the channel become like a member on youtube that would help out also here we have trixie good cat doesn't help me out with anything though <laughs> like tommy does in the game she's 14 guys join the discord and we we will see you later <laughs> bye